<clears throat> Darwin, what's the mood been like in practice this week? Um, we had a good practice um, yesterday. You know, um, focus, focused in on a lot of stuff. It was a good day. It was good. What are things going back and looking at BC like that you take away? Something that you think you, maybe you personally can grow from, build off of a result that obviously you guys didn't want? Uh, basically, you know, the big plays we gave up on both sides of the ball, you know, on defense, we gave up a double reverse pass and just just different like penalties and different stuff. And, and in the offense, we had a couple fumbles, interceptions, so just cleaned out those mistakes. Through when you see Syracuse, you see they beat Clemson, you see they gave Miami all they could handle, that kind of get you guys' attention a little bit? Yeah, of course. You know, Syracuse is a great team. You know, you know they're going to come in, throw the ball, you know, you know what you're doing with them. They'll run the ball too, so. We know again. They run something like 90 plays a game. What kind oh, of challenges does that present? That's tempo, you know, because you got to be able to line up every play. And, you know, they go, they, they move fast and they on the ball every play. How tough is it to simulate that during the week? I mean, you can't simulate the speed of that. You know, it's kind of hard. You know, um, you could try to, but it's like the, the way they run their offense, you know, it's, it's fast. Do they remind you of anybody that you guys see? I know they're not the only fast team you guys have played this year. Well, it'll probably be the fastest team to play this year. Uh, a lot of guys is. They, they wasn't comparing it to Oregon, but they try they try to be fast how Oregon was. Is it in the it's hard to substitute, right? I mean, so what yeah. is that? What is that? What kind of challenges does that create? Because you guys do have a lot of different players that can get in. Uh, basically, man, everybody got to be ready to go. You know, the um, ones and twos got to be ready. You know, to go in in case a guy needs a blow. You know, because you know whether whether it's a good or bad play, they're going to be on the ball, ready to snap the ball. And then uh, Dungey is a quarterback. Um, could you just? Describe the challenge. Man, tough, honest. tough guy. You know, he he's what you know make 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 the team go. You know, he makes the throws. He's fast. You know, sneaky fast, and you know he can, he can do a lot of things. Did you get to talk to him at all during ACC kickoff or at all? Not seen him. I spoke. You know, I wasn't really talking to that many guys like that. Darren, what do you think the biggest issue has been for the defense this year? Defense. Uh, consistency. Uh, basically, you know, not giving up those busts or those men er men er er errors that we be having sometimes, and you know, um, not putting the fire out all the time. You know, rather rather wherever they, they get the ball at on the field, you know, not putting the fire out fast enough. So I, I said, that. obviously, some guys got frustrated in that game. There's been frustration with the season. How do you channel that, and how how do you guys focus that productively? Uh, man, we just all got to just stay together, you know, just keep being hard on each other. I know things ain't working out how we want them to work out, but, you know, we got to keep showing up every day, you know, keep trusting in the coaches, you know, stay together. Mm -hmm. Rick?